Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about a new feature that has just come out with the newest release version of OpenRCT2. So as of today, July 7, 2024, there is version 0.4.12 that just came out. And one of the top features on here in the change list is the ability to increase the size of the map in the 0, zero direction. I want to talk about this one real quick, what it means and how you can use it with a new plugin I've created. So if you've ever done a lot of sandbox mode or scenario creation, you've probably played around with the tools in the map window over here. Let me turn on sandbox mode in Forest Frontiers here. And it has some tools here on this window to change the map size, 126 by 126. And I can go ahead and increase or decrease these to make the map bigger or smaller. However, it only decreases and increases on one side of the map in that direction and on one side of the map in this direction and you can't change the size of the map along the other two sides and of course this could be problematic if you've built a bunch of stuff in this corner over here and suddenly you need more room but you don't have any so usually what you have to do is build far away from this corner and hope that you give yourself enough space now what this new feature has done is it allows us to resize the map along all four edges so that we don't have to compromise where we put our stuff. We don't have to worry about running out of space over here in this one particular corner or along these two edges. Currently, there is no UI built into the game to do this. It's only exposed to the plugin API, but that means you can write a plugin that allows you to resize the map in all four directions. And that's what I've done. And there is a new map resizer plugin I've created that you can use to resize your map in any direction you like. So just to demonstrate this, I've got one of my old maps open up here real quick, and you can see it is rectangular size. Hopefully it should be pretty easy to visualize everything we're gonna do. So if I were to open the map and try to change the map size from these tools, you can see that we're gonna increase that dimension there, and we're gonna increase this dimension here, so coming towards the camera. But if I decided I want to increase the map size in those other two directions, can't do it from here, but I have the new map resizer plugin, Pretty simple, hopefully it should be pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory, easy to use. We've got four different little spinner controls around the edges of this map here, and they will increase or decrease the map size, sort of like you were grabbing hold of the edge of the map and pulling or pushing that side in that direction. So right now this map is, you can see, hopefully it's easy to read. I know the, the palette in this map is a little bit tough to read off, but it's 47 by 67. And the 67, we'll look at the one in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, if I increase or decrease the one, it's the same thing that we were doing previously with the map window. It's like we're grabbing that map edge and making that long side even longer. But now we can do the same thing with the other edge as well. And we can go ahead and make that longer as well. Works exactly the same way as the other edge of the map does if you have peep spawners on this edge, like I do on this map. Uh, I've got a couple entrance ways here. It's gonna mess those up, but everything else is automatically handled by the game itself. All this stuff is happening under the hood. All my plugin is doing is calling the game's code to change the map size. The game itself is handling moving everything around on the map to get that resize done correctly. So it's a very safe operation. Only thing it will quote unquote break is again those those peep spawners. And you see I've got I've got one here. It's no longer on the edge. I can put it back over here if I want to. If I if I want to mess with it later, I'm not gonna do that right now. So yeah, same goes for the other two edges. Right now the short side is 47 tiles, and I can increase it on this edge. I can increase it here. Of course, we can decrease it the same way, and everything gets resized exactly the way you'd expect it to. Really cool stuff. Really glad to see that this feature has finally made it to OpenRCT2, and it's nice that this is available to plugins, and even if it's not available in the main UI, there's, there's some way to get to it so that we can make our maps different sizes without having to worry about running out of room. If you'd like to get this plugin yourself to play around with, there will be a link down in this video's description. Hope you enjoy using this tool. Thanks for watching.